To someone who doesn't know me, you're like, what is this about? What are you doing? What are you doing? But to anyone who knows me, they're like, of course she's gonna do it. About to expose myself as a major Hayley Baldwin fan. Yeah, obviously, obviously style queen, obviously, obviously. I decided I was gonna do this video and I was looking up um, like the reasons I became obsessed to her, I suppose. And wow, I've been a stan for a while. I'd say since 2016. 2016 Hayley Baldwin, when she started doing those iconic ponytails. Like she used to go to the basketball games and the ponytail was like up here and I used to always try and give her a it because I had the curly hair. And she, for me, was the person who brought in, you know, the bomber jackets, the green ones with the orange underneath, the top shop, like just overused. She was the first person I saw on them. And then she did like the white socks. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean by the white socks? She did a collab with Public Desire and I bought over the knee boots because she clapped on it. I think I wore them once in Barna Jarg in the Red Gap. Now, this is where the creepiness sets in. I know too much about her. I, I'm like most girls, have the ability of the FBI. If I wanna research something and find something out, I will, I will, I will. As I say this, I'm literally looking at her apartment. I'm literally looking at her New York apartment. How do I know this? Why do I know that that's her apartment? I'm so embarrassed, but impressed with myself. All her New York paparazzi pictures, I just recognized the background and I knew she lived in Brooklyn. And then I was walking around and I recognized the outside of the building. That's bad. I recognized the outside of the building. It's literally such a plain building. I could have recognized it because it said six zero and I recognize the font. Her New York apartment's over there, but she's only been there for like three days in the entire time that I've lived here. So she doesn't live here. I know so much about her. Why don't I live a day like Hayley Bieber, Baldwin? I know her coffee order. I know where she goes and gets her coffee. So we're gonna go there. It's 34 degrees here. So it's like in the 90s in Fahrenheit. It is warm. It is warm. Wait, can you see my sweat? <gasps> oh, yeah, I told you. I told you. Let me just go pick a Hailey Bieber inspired outfit. Okay, how do we feel about this? Uh, sure, you can't see a thing. We feel like, how do we feel like the hair? The low bun? She does the low bun. She does the big hoops. Please excuse Peter's hundreds of shoes. Biker shorts, oversized top, hoops, these kind of glasses. I lost my ones that look like Ursulines. Oh, sweet baby rays, it is warm. The very Bieber-esque mask. I'm gonna walk by her apartment and I'm gonna show you the door. And you tell me, you tell me you wouldn't know. Yeah, That's it, that's how I knew. That was how I knew. Hey guys, what's up? That was how I knew. Inserting a poll here. Do you hate me as much as I hate me? I'm gonna say no. Do you know what I should do? Oh my God, realization. I should break into her apartment and steal her clothes. Duh. I hate coffee. I do not drink it. As much as the taste is good, it sends me spinning in more ways than one. But Hayley Bieber loves coffee. This is a really nice Israeli restaurant um, called 12 Chairs. We went to the last day. We've gone to a couple times. Really nice. Someone I was looking up today. Justin Bieber and Hayley have been there. So good though. Sorry. The um, falafel hummus. Hayley and her stylist are big fans of Blue Bottle, Blue Bottle coffee. And then she's been seen at this one here on North 4th. Just keeping a little lookout in case there's any paparazzi following me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay, taste test. 
It's a hazelnut frappuccino. I got it with oat milk. Oh, it's nice. I'm gonna be bouncing. I am gonna be bouncing off the walls. The only good thing about this drink is it's cold. This is absolutely going straight to my head. I can feel it in my nervous system and I can also feel it in my bowels. Okay, step one of being Hailey Bieber has been not my vibe. I feel like the next thing Hailey Baldwin Bieber would do with her day is work out. She was really into boxing before, but now she's into like hot yoga and hot pilates and all of those things. She often posts pictures post-workout. Who's gonna agree with me that I'm basically doing a hot yoga session right now in this heat? Look at my lip, can you see it? Oh, you can't? Put on your specs, babe, because I'm soaking. So I'm walking home via Domino Park. Hayley Baldwin has been seen here a good few times. This is where they were first seen kissing in public. Lots of pics were taken. Yeah, again, the fact that they're not okay, So this is me pretending to be kissed by Justin Bieber. Okay, please enjoy my walk home. I'm gonna go tanning because what would Haley do? Haley's big tanner. So I'm just using this as an excuse to sit around and do nothing. So even though I did not put sunscreen on any part of my body, we're doing this. Literally trying to have a peaceful time here, but all I can hear is... I'm presuming you can see and hear that because I just threw my hand up in the air. I've just finished the book I actually was reading. So I don't have anything to read, but I picked up this book that Peter's mom sent him. It's called Less is More. 101 ways to simplify your life and it's very cute what does Haley read from what I know she has like some medicine book that she used to carry around I remember watching a YouTube video and she was talking about she always had a, has a medicine book on hand and I feel like she reads the Bible a lot she's very religious shout out to Fanula Cook okay I think I think I did really good with this one. I need to go to the shop to get some ingredients. And I think I I think I did well. And beige shoes because she's wearing beige socks and there's a bit of beige in her shoe. I'm just bringing out this because it makes my hair look short. I changed again. I feel like I'm not doing her justice. I'm not doing her outfits justice. I'm just wearing cycling shorts and a big t-shirt, which is ridiculous. Look, if I do the sideways thing, okay. I have to squat. Okay, you see it? And then if I have the red scrunchie, where's the red scrunchie? Where is it gone? Anyways, we are cooking. Remember the last time that happened? <laughs> no. Oh. Wait, they did a YouTube documentary, docu-series, and they did a Facebook one? This is from the Facebook one where they like make pasta together. So this is Hailey Bieber's go-to pasta dish. She uses gluten-free pasta though. 
which I won't be doing because we love poisoning the body. Don't look for a sec, just close your eyes. Just close your eyes. How am I making pasta badly? Okay, so now we have to cut the casing off. Sausages, which I've never done before. God, I can't see. <laughs> While that is cooking, I'm going to do another outfit. I'm going to do another outfit. Don't even try and stop me. This is the full look, okay? Possibly like a, like a this moment. Oh, no, definitely not at that moment. So we're gonna go hood to the side. I remember reading a quote when she was a teenager. She was like, my style is wearing clothes that Look like they could be my boyfriends. That really resonated with me. Oh, it's absolutely roasting. It is absolutely roasting in here. Mm. Will I change again? Yes, I will. Okay, what do we think? Don't come for me. Don't come for me. The shirt is horrendous and shorts don't fit me. This is the top of a sock. Ooh. Ooh. As you can see. Went for Met Gala evening look from last year, I think. Okay. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. I don't know. Last but not least. <sighs> wow. Last thing on the list be Hailey Bieber for the day is skincare. She is a big skincare girl. I'm gonna do a face mask. Gotta get the big voluptuous lips out. This is actually 10 out of 10. So good. Well, let me tell you something. I've been having the best day of my life. I'd happily be that girl every day of the week. Living the life. So cheers to that. I looked like Justin Bieber. Oh, do you reckon? When he was 16? You gotta have self-confidence. When he was 16.